welcome back. Well, the Southern Hemisphere's largest kiteboarding race is set to take place from Rottnest Island and finish up here at Leighton Beach tomorrow afternoon at around 2.45. But with me, I have last year's champions, Ollie Bridge and his mum, Steph Bridge, as well. Now, Ollie, you won the race overall last year, but you also hold the record for 22 minutes and 7 seconds. Now, just to give you an example, that's faster than the ferry from Rottnest. But how do you expect to fare in the conditions tomorrow? Yeah, so the forecast tomorrow is looking good. It's going to be sort of similar to last year and hopefully uh, maybe the waves will be a little bit calmer. And yeah, I think um, we can go a little bit quicker than last year, maybe get a new record, I think. So, so the strong wind might help you out there. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> now, Steph, you must be quite a proud mum. I mean, he's 18 years old and travelling the world, but you're a world champion yourself. So what makes this race so special from the others? I think it's the community spirit bringing all of not only Australia but lots of other kite surfers from all around the world come to this event. They train hard, they train in lots of different conditions because it's a hard race. Um, so I think that's really special and, and the fact that it's, um, it's in the southern hemisphere, it's beautiful warm. <laughs> it's meant to be beautiful and warm but in saying that, best of luck to you both but I best take a look at the weather now and it was, we are heading for a chillier night, we'll be getting some showers later on as well with some storms possibly to follow after midnight. The mercury already plummeted today though, we reached 24 degrees just before 11am. Tomorrow that low system hanging over WA will deepen as a moisture-laden moisture trough travels over the southwest of the state. But looking ahead over east and it's warm in Melbourne tomorrow, mostly sunny and 31 degrees. Sydney is in for clear skies as well and 26 degrees. Adelaide is set for a scorcher with a top of 39 and there's a high risk of bushfires through South Australia with dry lightning forecast as well. But around WA now, some likely storms through the Kimberley, broom 32 degrees and our south are in for a squally day of weather, Albany could expect some heavy rainfall and a cool 16 the top. And we'll be getting some much needed rain in Perth this weekend with potential storms expected through a good part of tomorrow and up to 10 millimetres of rain. It will ease to just showers later in the afternoon and 21 degrees. More showers forecast Sunday and 22 and it's drying up to just some cloud on Monday but it's looking to start warming up before the end, sorry, by midweek and quite uh, over 30 degrees by the end of the week. But the Lighthouse to Leighton kiteboarding race uh, tomorrow is a free event for spectators. You might need some wet weather gear or you can do it like I have done it tonight and I have placed myself at Bib and Tucker so <laughs> <laughs> you can have a drink while the kiteboarders are coming in. Doing <laughs> like it that. tough. <laughs> Thanks, That's Sherry. Fine. Thanks Sherry.